the way I start every project is with drawing. For me, drawing is like the quickest way to basically take notes. The studio is meant to be an ongoing project to create the ideal environment for creativity. It's nice when the creative process can change without it being like cerebral, it's like physical. I'm gonna control these things that I have total control of. What kind of chair I sit in, what kind of paper I use, what sort of light there is in the room where I work, where I work, when. The best version of me is actually like a clear-headed version of myself. I'll do these different things. I'll go for a run, I'll like meet friends to go skating, or I'll fish the river. But it comes from knowing that it is part of like the process. I did a drawing once that was like a hand holding a piece of, a piece of paper, and it says, two hour bike ride, three minute drawing. That was in response to the day. Why didn't you just do 180 drawings instead of going on that bike ride? And I think in life, like, I push back at what's like a waste of time, a use of time. I am interested in how my analog process has been influenced by working on the computer. There's many aspects of the studio, which is like an analog version of the digital world creating multiples, creating versions, storing them, they're time-based. For me, like Dropbox is like things that happen in the studio naturally. You put things in boxes, you label them, you're able to go back in time and find them, you're able to share them. My studio is tiny, it's like me and one other person, and that is only made possible by the world, the universe of technology, and Dropbox's world constantly expanding. The way the studio works, it has to be like sort of adaptable. The studio extends because the studio is porous, but the studio is everywhere. I don't want like my process for doing art shows to be different than my process for a commercial project. Like I want those things to be, I want them to be the same. When people see the work, my ideal is they are seeing not my thinking, not my ideas, but my intentions.